the French East India Company. After British, the French arrived in India. In 1664, FEIC was established and was largely controlled by their government for its finances and other subjects. In Chandarnagore and Pondicherry, they established their factories. In other parts of India, Dutch and Danish also established their East India Company. But they did not have any significant political power and remained confined to the role of merchants. Trade Wars During the second half of the 18th century, the rivalry between England and France also extended to their colonial possessions. The rivalry between English and French led to a series of wars in India referred as the Anglo-French Wars or the Carnatic Wars. The battles were mostly fought in the Carnatic region and parts of Tamil Nadu. The First Carnatic War 1744 to 1748 In 1742, England and France were engaged in a war in Europe and this conflict soon spread to India. Madras was restored to the British when the war in Europe ended. Duplay, the French Governor-General of Pondicherry, led this Carnatic War. He used the resources of the local rulers to drive out the British company. The Second Carnatic War 1749-1754 the Second Anglo-French War was fought for absolute rule in Hyderabad. Nasir Jung, one contender, was supported by the English and Muzaffar Jung, the other contender, was supported by the French. In the Carnatic, the two claimants were Muhammad Ali, supported by the British, and Chanda Sahib, supported by the French. In the Carnatic, the two claimants were Muhammad Ali, supported by the British, and Chanda Sahib, supported by the French. The French succeeded, but the British, under the leadership of Robert Clive, captured Arcot. This led to a series of reverse for the French. Chanda Sahib was executed and replaced by Muhammad Ali. The Third Carnatic War 1756 to 1763. In 1756, Siraj ud Dola captured Calcutta. Mir Jafar, one of the generals of Siraj ud Dola army, supported the English and in return he was promised the throne. In 1757, Calcutta was recaptured by EEIC. Mir Jafar betrayed the Nawab. After winning the war, Mir Jafar gave the English huge war compensation. This battle marked the beginning of company rule in India. Soon Mir Jafar was replaced by his son-in-law Mir Qasim and in 1763 Mir Jafar was placed on the throne once again.